City of Squala. Okay, okay. Let's get this tutorial going. Why am I speaking like that? Hey guys, Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys and show you guys what strobing is all about. So what is strobing? Is it a new technique? Is it the latest craze? Well, it is not a new technique. It's actually been around for ages and it's pretty much highlighting and sculpting with light. But now we just have a term called strobing labeled to it. So this is a great alternative to contouring. So if you're anti-contouring because it's too hard or because you don't like that really sculpted heavy Kim K look, strobing might be the new thing for you. So the strobing technique itself uses light to sculpt and highlight your face. So pretty much you're using things like illuminizers and highlighters just to get that glow and when the light hits it and reflects off it sort of draws attention to those areas. So what sort of products can you use for strobing? Now there's so many different products available on the market. There's things like highlighting powders to liquid illuminizers that you can mix in with your foundation or apply on top. And you can even use pigments or there's those highlighting cream sticks that you can use. I don't have any here to show you, but there's so many different products available on the market. And pretty much the key to choosing a product is you don't want it glittery, okay? You don't want it overly shiny or glittery. You pretty much want that nice sheen, that nice glow to it. So don't opt for anything with big heavy glitters in it. Opt for something with a nice glowy sheen. Now, as you can see today, I am looking pretty glowy and dewy and I actually haven't used any contouring products with my makeup look at all. So I pretty much use the strobing technique to highlight and sculpt my face. So if you want to learn how to recreate this look or some of the techniques I use, keep watching and I'll show you how. First, I'm going to moisturize my face with Emboria Lease Moisturizer. So I'm just going to apply a generous amount all over my face. Now it's really important that you start off with a really clean and moisturized skin because with strobing it's all about that sort of like flawless glowing look. So you want your skin to look its best and having dry flaky skin isn't ideal for this look. Then I'm going to mix my foundation, which I'll be using the MAC Face and Body Foundation today in C3. And I'm going to mix that in with an illuminizer. So the one I'm using today is the MAC Strobe Cream. And I'm also going to mix in a little bit of the Fluid Sheer from Giorgio Armani. Now there's so many different illuminizers on the market, as I mentioned before. So pick one that you like and that's a bit more sheer and not glittery, okay? We want something with a nice glowy sheen and not actual glitter in it. So I've just mixed the foundation and the illuminizer on a metal palette and I'm going to apply that all over my face. I'm just going to dab it on my face with my fingers first and then work in with a brush. Now the reason why I'm using face and body as my foundation is because I don't really need a lot of coverage on my skin and plus face and body is a very dewy foundation. So you want to opt for something that has a glow but if you say you have um, more of a combination or an oily skin type, use a foundation that's appropriate for your skin type because obviously you want it to last and just mix in that um, illuminizer. So I'm just working the foundation in with my Ray Morris liquid foundation brush and I'm just using circular motions to just really work it into my skin. Now once I'm finished applying my foundation, you can see that my skin is pretty dewy and glowy and wherever the light hits it, it actually sort of highlights those high points. So that's what you want. Now I'm going to move on to concealer. So I'm going to conceal under my eyes and any spots that um, are popping out. So again, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 for under my eyes. And I'm actually going to mix in a bit of an illuminizer with that as well. So do the same um, as you did for your foundation. So I'm just going to conceal under my eyes and just dab that concealer and illuminizer under there. Then I'm going to work it in with a Real Technique Deluxe Crease Brush. So I'm just going to work that uh, concealer in and blend it out. Now that I've concealed under my eyes, I'm going to lightly powder just to set that area and also set my T-zone because I do have a combination skin type. Oh, my throat. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> 
<clears throat> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. So today I'm just using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in light. And I'm just going to press that in with my Ray Morris Mineral Buffer Brush. Now let's move on to sculpting your face with light. So today I'll be using my Laura Mercier Highlight in number one. Now this is a baked highlighting powder. And I'm going to use my Ray Morris Pro Deluxe Blender Brush to apply this product. So I'm just going to grab some of that highlight powder onto my brush. Tap off any excess. And I'm going to place it onto the high points of my face. So I'd like to place a bit of it on top of my cheekbones. So I'm just gonna dab a bit onto that area there. Now, as you can see, it's really drawing in the line and you can really see that highlighted area. I'm gonna do the same with the other side. Now, when you're choosing a brush, make sure you choose a brush that's the right size so not too big and not too small. Then I like to apply some on top of my brow bone. Just very sparingly, just a little bit so it glows. And the other side. So now I'm gonna move on to the smaller areas I wanna highlight. So that's gonna be the inner corner of my eyes, underneath my brow bone, my nose bridge, my cupid's bow, and maybe a little bit on my chin. So I'm gonna to switch to my smaller brush and I'll be using the Ray Morris Detail Point Shader Brush. So I'm just gonna apply some to the inner corner of my eyes. Now this step just brightens up that eye area and really draws in that light. Then I'm going to apply a little bit underneath my brow bone. And then I'm going to move on to my nose. So I'm going to apply a bit on my tip. And then just a little bit on my bridge. And I'm just going to pat that through and blend it out. Then a little bit on top of my cupid's bow. This is going to help make my lips look a bit more fuller and plumper. And just a little bit on my chin. Now I'm going to go in and just finish off my look with a bit of blush and lipstick. And that's pretty much the strobing 101. So as you can see, I've kept my makeup to a minimal today. So no heavy eyeshadows or no heavy lashes, but you can definitely incorporate some of these techniques with your glam looks or your day-to-day -day makeup. So if it's a bit heavier, you can definitely use some of these techniques just to bring out that nice inner glow. And also it lets your skin breathe as well, because sometimes when you're doing all that heavy contouring and highlighting, your skin can feel a little bit suffocated. And with this technique, you're pretty much using like one or two extra products in your routine so your skin can finally breathe. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Now if you guys give strobing a go and post any photos up on Instagram, remember to tag me at Tina underscore Yong. Also remember to tune in every Tuesdays because that's when I upload new videos and remember to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with future videos. Hi, I guess that's it for now. I will speak to you guys next time.